Hey guys, what's up? Nina Villegas here and welcome back to my channel. Let's go. My last video was over the purchases and freebies that I acquired during the month of July. So thank you to all of my first time subscribers for all the comments and love and support you guys showed me on that very first video. And if you haven't seen the video yet, go check it out. If you guys are wanting to see my long lasting and drugstore friendly foundation routine, then keep on watching. I highly suggest this video for beginners. Before I get started, I would like to point out that you guys know what products works best for your skin. And some of you may have no idea. These are products that I have discovered over a period of time that I know works best for me. That's why I'm sharing them with you today. So before I do my makeup, I really just want to make sure that I'm starting off with a clean canvas. I did hit the gym today, but I didn't wear makeup to work. Getting that sweat off, getting the germs off, getting the haters off. These are from Walmart. It's the Quate brand and there's like a lot in here. So I've been using this hard candy primer. I got this at Walmart a long time ago. I used to not use primer. I thought it was kind of pointless. I've noticed that not only does it blur out the spots that I have a tendency to build up oil, but it also acts as a binding between my skin and the foundation I'm about to put on. Today I'm gonna to be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Foundation. It's always keeping my skin looking matte, fresh, soft, and put. I do suggest the Pro Matte if you have really oily skin, but lately I've been going in with his sister, the Pro Glow Foundation. She is for people that have more normal to dry skin. I'm just really liking the combination of both. You guys don't have to use both, but out of all the drugstore foundations I've come across, I love the L'Oreal Infallibles. So I mix the two on my hand and I am just evenly spreading it across my face as best as I can with a clean finger. I do like full coverage and this look specifically being full coverage for when you wanna go out during the day or at nighttime. I also suggest going in with quite a bit of foundation. I have found that if I don't and I go to blend it, I'm looking really patchy in some areas when it really just could use some more foundation. So don't be scared. Now I'm just going to be taking this Morphe M439 brush and just really spreading the foundation evenly. So you can't find Morphe in the drugstore, but you can go online to morphebrushes.com and get those drugstore prices. Envy it for 10%. Just kidding, I'm not a Morphe affiliate, but hey, a girl can dream, right? So I really like this brush because it just has really short bristles, you're not gonna have too much product go inside of it. Spread nice and evenly across your face. As I'm lightly going over some of the blemishes that I have, I'm taking that foundation and putting it over these areas. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Real Technique sponge and just lightly going over those blemishes, doing little bounces. Please make sure that you are dampening your beauty blender or sponge. I have a friend that does it sometimes. I don't know if it's out of pure laziness or if she thinks that's how you can use it, but there's no point. It's not going to blend. As you can see, I made a couple more strips of that foundation with my finger, and I'm really just going in and blending that in again because my nose has a tendency to take off foundation faster than the rest of my face. I'm going in with my Revlon concealer. Honestly, I'm just trying to get rid of the rest of this stuff. Once again, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm really just going in and buffing these areas, making sure that concealer is blended smoothly. So when I first heard of translucent powder, I followed Patrick Starr and he was always using this Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have it in Translucent Extra Coverage 070-41. Good Lord. It comes in a very large container. It's 2.30 ounces in here, which is literally a holy grail when it comes to translucent powder. I don't know how I still have product left in here because I spill it everywhere. It's all in my carpet. It's all over me sometimes. So be very careful when opening it up and just Get some of that in the lid. Take your beauty blender, your sponge, whatever you may have, and dip it in here and coat. I always start out underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna go in here and lightly bounce, pressing that powder in my skin. Now I suggest this powder if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin, don't buy it because it's gonna pick up on your patches. I'm doing my nose. This does have flashback. 
but I found it to be the best drugstore translucent powder. For honestly how much product comes in this container, it just, the price, you can't beat it. It's like five or six dollars. I'm gonna take this brush. I don't even know who it's by or what it is or it doesn't have a number on it. Going over my skin and dusting off the extra powder. We're not gonna be baking today. Maybe we can save that for another video if you guys are interested on how to bake or what baking is. And we ain't baking cookies. Cookies sound really bum right now. Final step of my foundation base routine that I do is I go in with this Milani Make It Last setting spray. By using this spray, it just really locks in all of the foundation and setting powder that you just applied to your face. And I find that waving it in just really locked down. And guys, that's really the end of the base of my foundation routine. I haven't added any contour or um, blush or highlight or anything. If you guys are interested in seeing a video like that, please let me know in the comments below or text the Sally. Text the Sally. Call the Sally. Text your girl. Holla. Say what's up. Say hey girl. I need you to do this kind of video. Let me know. I am going to go off camera real quick and finish my makeup just so I can show you a finishing piece. I guess is what you can call it. All right, guys, and that is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. You look crazy. Of course I use my Jaclyn Hill palette. Duh.